All right, I've just had the doorbell go and my 3D printer has arrived. I ordered it about a month ago and I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting for it to be shipped from the Czech Republic. Now I've gone and bought the Prusa Mini Plus. So let's get out of this box, see what it can do. Why is that so stretchy? This is my first ever 3D printer, so I honestly have no idea what to expect. <sighs> Let's get it open. Congratulations for buying with some links on it. 3D printing handbook. I'm just gonna bring the camera over. Ah, it's stuck, it's stuck. Let's see, we've got power cable, spool holder, okay. Accessories, spares. Okay, so this must be to assemble the spool holder with. Little USB drive. Okay. LCD display. You got a box of filament, which is an optional extra I got with this. Steel plates for printing stuff onto. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is the good stuff. Oh, wow. Super, super cool. Not entirely sure what this is just yet. Heavier than I thought it would be. So, don't really know quite what I thought, but okay. So, that bit is actually 3D printed on the uh, component. Hmm. Using 3D print to make a 3D printer. Seems a pretty cool idea. Base part, I think. I have no idea what it's actually called. <laughs> um, okay. Is that going to go here? I think that the box is now empty. If you don't believe me, have a look. Okay, I guess now I need to figure out how to actually put everything together because. <laughs> This slip of paper actually seems really useful because step-by-step -step assembly guide. So first thing I'm doing is installing foam anti-vibration pads on the bottom of the Y-axis.
I'm really pleased with how this part's come out. With this being an FDM printer, that means when I'm printing parts that have a slight incline on them, there's going to be some artefacting on the edges where you can see the layers of plastic as it's built up. Of course, this is no exception. But I feel though that with a little bit of post-processing, this won't even be noticeable as it being 3D printed, which is exactly what I want out of this printer. You'll also probably notice there's a bit of shine going on on this part, and that's because I've used the Galaxy Black filament, which is also created by Prusa. It has a bit of a shine effect going on, which I really quite like, and it feels like it's quite a professional piece at the end. So, colour me impressed. Another thing I thought was impressive was how there was a first start experience when I first turned on this printer. So set me up with what language I wanted the interface to be in, as well as then explaining what little numbers at the bottom of the screen mean. And then it went on to do some self-testing so that because this comes in a kit form that I've assembled it correctly. And it also did some calibration tests. In my case, I actually had a problem because I forgot to put the steel plate on to the heating bed before trying to do the calibration checks. And that meant the heating bed check failed. So make sure to watch out for that. The noise it makes when printing is noticeable. So I found I had to put on my noise cancelling headphones when I was in a meeting at work when this was printing in the background. It's not too annoying, but it's noticeable. When this is printing with filaments such as ABS, it's going to be producing some pretty harmful chemicals into the atmosphere in this small room. And quite frankly, I don't want to be damaging my health by printing parts. So I'm going to be investing in a air filtration device to capture those chemicals before they can be doing any problems. Having this though, well, it means now I can start manufacturing and prototyping parts for things I've never been able to do before. And it means I can actually get on with projects, which, well, you're going to have to subscribe to this channel to see as they come out. Can't wait to start making some real cool things with this. So, see you in the next one.